Hello everybody and welcome to the first day of autumn. It is, well, yeah, first day of autumn. Well, the reason why I've got the time down to times one is if you can see the weather in the corner, it's going to rain at some point. And I believe that is something to do with, I know the rain symbol is something to do with something in the 12, within 12 hours I think. And then I think that thing is probably going to be raining in the next few hours. So we need to get the crop uh, harvested. So all the crops in field 29, the canola and the oats, are ready to harvest. Which is really good. So we're actually going to go into the garage. These dice items, we're going to return the sprayer because we no longer need it. Because we only need to um, spray off some weeds. And the harvester in question, we're going to be using this bad boy. We're going to be using the Fent 6275L. It does look like a reskin of the Massey Ferguson Active here, but there are a few differences. I believe it's got um, a bit less horsepower. I think the Massey Ferguson's got something like about 300 and something, and this one's only got 276. And the Massey Ferguson has got a top speed of 14 miles an hour. And this one's got a top two 12 miles an hour. But I don't care. It's a mod, it's combine, and I've what I want to use it. So we're gonna go with some wide tires. Just gonna lease that. Eleven grand to lease that. We also need to lease the header. Which is pretty much the same. It's a 7.6 meter header, so it should be enough. And we also need to lease a header trailer. <coughs> So I hope you're all doing well today, um, I'm doing well, thank, um, uh, right now, alright I can't remember, I think it's spent nature green, we'll go for that, we'll lease that as well. <coughs> so I'm not sure how much that is altogether, but we'll teleport all the way over to the store, and here it is, here's the fent combine. So, I haven't used this combine before, but it should be very good, at least. And I quite like it already, because um, one of my favourite base game combines was the actual Massey Ferguson one, so this one should be quite good. It does have a bit of a lean forward, but I guess that is just the combine itself, or the weight of the header. But we'll stick that on there like so. So we'll lower it down, detach it. That should be automatically locked on now. And then we've got to hook it up to the trailer. So this looks like a very good combo. I'm actually going to take a thumbnail shot here because I quite like it in the sunrise. So. I'll see you once I've taken a thumbnail shot. Alright then, we've taken the thumbnail shot. Uh, you've probably seen it already from the thumbnail. Holy moly! I'm gonna have to let him go, he won't move. It'd be nice if he reversed backwards. But I am quite a big vehicle. Put some lights on. And lights. I'm not sure what's happened with these lights. I'm not sure if they're actually working. Oh. That's only one fault with it so far I've found. Uh, that the lights don't work. Like the actual headlights. Uh, but I don't think we'll be using it at night. Hopefully. Um, so I'll probably fill it through the oak field. In a matter of minutes. Probably the same with the canola field. Field 39 with the soya beans in. Might be a bit different though. But anyway, I'll see you down at the field. That's an entrance point. Might as well take it. I'm going to go all the way down the other end, because I think that's the, actually, that's the fence, isn't it? Is it me? But anyway, uh, these crocs are looking very healthy. 
hopefully we'll be able to harvest them, but on the so on the map it says we can harvest them. I'm not sure what it does in seasons, but um they should be ready to harvest. Hopefully at least. So we're actually gonna go and park the header here. So we'll stick the header trailer there. I can't remember if I left crop destruction on or off. I think I left it on. and get the header attached and um, yep that's alright now the thing is on so we'll get the header a bit get about that and then we'll unfold the combine the combine our overstep and that is looking very good are we going to be dropping the straw? Yes, we are. So, let's fire it up. So we'll go around the headlands. Well, I'll probably go around the overall field headland once, and then we'll probably go up. Oh, we might actually just go all the way around three times. Might as well. But I might just go up and down from the top to bottom. Actually, I'm going to go around three times, I think. Um, no, twice, right the way around, and then um, top and bottom, I might just top and bottom it once again and then put it on a work for going up and down, so we can go and get a trailer. Very good combine. Do reverse back, and get some screw off the floor. And then we'll go around, actually that was a bad idea. Might want to go around a bit more. I like to just be perfect with it. I don't really want to miss any. Get more money if we don't miss as much. But I quite like having the, um, one field as like two separate smaller fields. So that is actually quite useful. And I really do like having that element within. But uh, anyway, I think I'm going to time up the next bit, or at least, uh, yeah, let's just time up the next bit. Racing! And the combine's gonna win the, against the car. Oh yeah. Well, the actual speed dial thing, um, in the shop actually, I think lied a bit actually. <laughs> because it said the top speed was um, 12 miles an hour, it's actually 19 miles an hour. Um, so that was actually a bit weird. But I'm actually only going and top and bottom it twice. Uh, this is how I like to do it because um, I'm probably going to be up, going up and down afterwards. So I'll probably just set it up on a worker here. And let's go like that and then hit the letter H on the keyboard and let the combine do its job. We're actually going to go and grab the trailer very quickly. We're actually going to use. Might use a little Ford today. Uh, use New Holland. Or Sammy tractor. Sammy, we did use quite a little bit. Yeah, we used the Ford quite a bit last video. I think I'm going to use the New Holland for karting today. Um, because it's literally just over the road from the actual main farm. So we're actually going to um, empty the current uh, load of um, wheat, which we're currently using to feed the chickens, um, out into the silo, which is just over there, somewhere. 
And then we're going to head over to the field with this trailer and uh, get a load of our own produce. Folks. So, there it goes. Unload that. And let's head over to the field. Arrived at the field. Wow, crazy trick then. And oh no 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 bad combo. Uh, the message has flashed up to say it is eighty percent full. I'm going to go and quickly stop it. Just put a pipe out. I'm gonna go teleport through all the tracks, all the vehicles, and uh, we'll get some of this uh, nicely produced fresh oats in the field. And looks like we're going to get quite a lot of straw out of this field actually as well. So let's just wait for this to unload. That looks quite nice. I could take the bell fork off, but um, I'm probably going to be using it either in this episode or the next episode. But in this episode we'll be harvesting this field. Next episode we'll be harvesting that field and probably doing the baling in this field. And then the episode after will probably be over there in field 39 uh, harvesting the soybeans. And then finally we will be um, down well, the last episode recorded video will be selling all the uh, produce and uh, well, all the better of animals, that sort of stuff. We'll probably be selling all the machinery that we have, and then we'll I'll probably keep the T6. We'll keep the T6 to pick up in the Eiffel Williams trailer, and probably the its bell port because we are going to have to go and sell the bells. We'll go and sell the bells with the, that. We will then um, put Lisa lorry after that. Um, we'll then go and empty all the silos out with a trailer. I actually have a bit of one lined up, but it is an American trailer. Um, but it's sort of like I to show you wrong button. That's pretty much uh, wrong button again. Trailers, if we go through here, it's this sort of thing, as you can see, but it's sort of got a second one connected on. So if we had two, we could probably sell all the crops in one. But we do have a bit of every crop um, in the silo, so we've got about 9,000 litres of wheat, or 10,000, about the same of barley. Oats, we're going to have more. Canola, we're also going to have more. Sunflowers, we're not going to have any more. Soybeans, we will have more. Corn, we will we probably won't have any more. Eggs, we will have. Yeah, eggs and wool, we'll need to sell. Uh, that's all going down. I'm actually going to have a look on the seasons menu to see when the best time is for selling um, uh, what so Rhode Island ah oh, we could have sold we could sell them about midsummer best price uh, well actually you can hear the combine turning around in the background so if I was going to look up, I think we've got Marina and Suffolk so the actual fifth to sixth day, sixth day of um, winter is actually quite a good day to sell. And uh, Suffolk, pretty much the same as well. But let's have a look on here. Hay, we can sell. Um, well, it's a good price then. But fifth to sixth day of uh, winter. So it's probably, we're probably going to be looking about here. So selling straw probably about the same uh, we can't actually sell grass bales 
which is unfortunate. But this combine has actually um, gone through this field quite a lot. So it's probably going to have about three or four passes there, and then I'll get that bit over there, and then we'll empty it out, and then end the video. But I really like that combine. The only thing I have noticed about it is uh, some of the um, shop information is false, and um, the what was it I noticed as well? The lights, headlights don't work. So I would recommend it. I would still recommend it if you are looking for a medium sized combine for a tight map but with uh, quite large fields I would still recommend it but um, it still does need improvement so I'd probably rate it 4 stars 4 stars out of 5 and we can also review this tractor at the same time because might as well uh, this tractor the only thing I've noticed about it is the bug where you can't move your head around. See, I'm moving my mouse from side to side. I cannot move it. So you have to get back out and get back in. I've noticed that with um, a fent tractor as well. Uh, if you remember entirely now, because we rented a modded version of the fent fabric. Uh, yeah. So overall, I'd, if it didn't have that bug, I'd rate it 5 stars. But it's 4 stars because of that bug. That's 4 stars out of 5. But, let's, uh, sort of button review mod. I'm actually just going to quickly jump in. Sorry! Uh, you're currently about 52% full. This forest actually looks quite interesting. You can use the bleepy thing as well. So the canola is 100% grown. It's got 8% moisture. I'm actually going to check the, uh, Out over here. So we'll get out the combine's path and then we'll probably just check it by here. So it's about the same. Hello, Mr. Combine. But the next map, uh, as you know, I'm probably going to put a vote in either this video or the next video. If it is in this video, it'll probably be, have, he's probably gone by now. Or yeah, it might have gone already. Look at these trees. Uh, we are going to be doing forestry at some point. Probably last episode. And then we'll do that thing again where we... Well, the last episode is actually going to be a live stream. Hopefully, maybe multiplayer as well. So, we'll pretty much... Not sure what I did there. I think I clicked a button which made it go to the desktop. And, yeah. So we'll probably do a stream, hopefully multiplayer with some forestry and maybe a bit of snow clearing. So I would quite like to do some of that. Uh, we might be using FDR logging machines. Uh, some, well, somebody has actually asked to do uh, a video, but my times aren't really flexible with theirs. Uh, so we might have to just do it with uh, some people might do it with others but if you do feel like joining uh, I'll probably arrange a date that you'll probably see on Discord and Twitter I'll probably say when the server will be open uh, you'll probably need mainly forestry mods but all the mods you see right now apart from the map and seasons and the T6 and the pickup and the Arthur Williams trailer they will be staying but the others like that tractor and the mowers will be going uh, will be probably sold by then so we'll have over a million pounds in the bank but I think that combine's nearly full but I really enjoyed this let's play I find it I, I find, I'm currently finding this um, actual playing of the game right now small on this crop. Uh, quite relaxing. Just it's quite relaxing just watching the combine. So I think that's one of his other passes. Or probably drop the straw there and probably drop the straw over there. We'll probably blitz the straw there, as I call it. Or chop the straw I should really say. Not sure what he's doing. It might be 
stopping by to take a photo of the combine. It's the first day of harvest. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to take over after this part. Jump. Should get that bit. These uh, roads will, of straw will be very dark. Um, just want to mention that. They will be very dark when we're actually bailing the straw. Grab that last little bit. Pick it up. And... Yeah, I'll probably just get this bit. Here. So we've got a pretty much, I think, a full combine tank and a bit of oats. Now that fill, probably nearly full, two full combine tanks. What? Well, actually, two nearly full combine tanks. How's that go? Which is very good. So we've pretty much got about um, fourteen thousand liters of uh, oats. Is that? It's actually going to just might as well. Let's turn the beacons off. And let's actually turn the choppers off. But, there we go. Oh, crashed. But we actually might get a full trailer out with soil being filled. Let's actually put some more towards the front here. This is actually a very good setup here. New Holland T6, two wheel drive. Uh, Chess, I think it's called. Jet Chess, 16 ton trailer with a bent combine. I'm actually going to go back to it. I could actually, I could have used it on the role play, but we went for the John Deere. I might still swap it though, because the John Deere is a bit hard to use with manual attach, I've noticed. But because the headlights don't work in this one, that's just uh, why you're not using it pretty much as well. So I've just noticed that. So actually I'm just going to lower the header down here. And turn off the combine. So actually I'm going to quickly teleport over to this bad boy. Yep, we've got about we've got 14,425 litres of oats. I'd say that's very good. Very good for the size of field. Because this is actually, well, we're actually going to value this part of the field and that part of the field as two separate fields. So this field is probably our smallest field. Our biggest field is the soybean field, so we might get a full trailer out of that. So we'll probably be using the John Deere to part um, with that. I think I've got stuck on the roadworks then. It's a bit annoying. Ah, quite relaxing now, just sitting back, playing the game, the harvesting. I do enjoy doing harvesting um, in quick seasons as well. But the next maps, or the next map, is going to be quite a big map, big open space map. I can tell you what the options are going to be, because you've probably voted for them. The options are... Um, Navaza, I think it's called, I believe it's called, Navaza by Ian, which is set in South Africa, or Lone Oak Farm. I'm probably expecting Lone Oak to win, but it could be South African map, but I basically just can't choose because um, uh, the, that map, whatever that map set in South Africa is called, uh, looks like a really good map. I, and well, I've only seen a first look video done on it, because, uh, yeah, but it, it was that, there's a map, it's got a 4x4 course, which would be fun with the snow, but it probably wouldn't be as realistic, but it would be fun with the snow, so, yeah. But that's it for today's episode, thank you all for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, please do consider subscribing, uh, if you would like to see more. 
I also play My Summer Car and Euro Truck Simulator 2, mostly, but I will also be playing a lot more different games, other games. So that's it from me. Uh, yeah, so goodbye.